on the St. Joe River in Mishawaka, Indiana. Stretch is simply known as Maggie's because the official name is actually Margaret Prickert, Pritchard, something like that, Park. Actually a pretty cool launch site. It's got a dog park there and lots of parking. Very popular place for tournaments. Anyhow, so my whole purpose of this video is to just simply run this stretch of the river. This stretch right down here, just to the west of the ramp down there is a dam. So that's pretty much the end of it. And there is an island. You can run behind that island over there. So I'm going to head east into Elkhart County. Now my objective is to go as far as I can before I know it just gets too dangerous. Now I mean by too dangerous, I'm going to say too dangerous for you if you don't know how to navigate this river. Uh, when I slow down, I'm basically telling you, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you what I get there is that, hey, this is it. You should stop and go idle speed only from this point forward until you spend hours and hours, heck, tens, hundreds of hours learning that stretch of the river. But I'm going to be able to go about 12 miles east into Elkhart County. Had a lot of requests for this after I did the similar thing on the six band stretch of the river. So that's what motivated this video. I hope you like it. Before you go anywhere else, please click the subscribe and click the notifications button. That way you know all the great videos that I produce as soon as they get released. Enjoy the ride!
there you have it. it. Took me about 13 minutes to run the 12 miles or so that I came upstream, and what I ended up doing, I ended up passing McNaughton Park in Elkhart, and went a little bit past that, around underneath the bridge, and around this first bend. And this is kind of where I consider when you go past this stretch, you really got to know where you're going. Beyond staying on the river channel, and we really want to concentrate on avoiding any skinny flats that got rocks and wood and stumps on them. Biggest concern of them all, though, our float is floating debris. I mean, you that, there are lots of stories of people having some bad moments of floating debris. Good friend Ron Fabzak, John Gibson Jr., got ejected from a boat out here one time. Fabzak has literally thousands of hours of experience out here, and a floating tree that was under the surface got him, ejected him. Luckily, they're okay. Doug Roar, good friend as well, got ejected one time out here for floating debris. So, beyond learning the river channel, keep an eye out for floating debris. Hope this video actually helped you out. Come fish the St. Joe River, Maggie Stretch, and Mishawaka, and Elkhart, Indiana. It is unbelievable, awesome fishing out here. But be careful. Learn to stretch. Till the next time we see you, we'll see you on the water. <laughs>